you were coming with to this convention of San Diego. I was not going to San Diego. No, this wasn't San Diego. This, this is before. Denver. This is Denver. Oh right. my gosh. You're, you've been to like a con every single week. Your brain's uh, scrambled eggs. Uh, yeah, it's scrambling up. I now. did Denver, Chicago, and now Seattle this weekend. Okay, there we go. That's so too many was, for me. This was like two cons ago. So we went out. We went to Denver. Denver. Right? Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm trying to remember the why airport I was with the horse in the front. That's right. Oh my gosh! And I got was, the video. We should have put that on here. I got, that on there, I got yeah. the video, man. Yeah, That's a whole know. different conversation. Okay. So, um, yeah, I had to go and pick you up. All right. Correct. So I, I went to Ryan's apartment. Tom does not know where I live. Nope, never been there. Uh, intentionally, by yep. the way, I specifically always wanted to hang out at Tom's. Yeah. Uh, Tom never knew my address. He does not know where I live until now. I don't even know Ryan's last name. I'm yeah. I might not even be named Ryan. But anyways, you had moved, and this is a new place. Never sure. been there before. I drove down there to pick you up, and I told you, yo, we got to get to the airport because our plane leaves at like 7. Sure. So I'm going to get to your airport at like, or get to your, your apartment at like 4 o'clock, right? So it's like dark outside. It was earlier than that, dude. You told me to be outside waiting at 2. Oh, man. It 2 a.m. Was, was it 2 a.m.? 2 a.m. Oh, because, yeah, the flight was leaving at like 5. It was an early, early plane. It was like a 5 o'clock flight. And I was like, cool, I'll go to bed okay. early. Okay. I'll, I'll meet you out front. I didn't want you finding where my actual apartment was. I said, I will meet you out front of yeah, the apartment you wanted, complex. Yeah, because it was hard to find it. Yeah, you that, didn't want to waste I time. I told you that, but I also, I just don't want you to know where I live, oh man. God. I, I, don't, I hate my apartment. Guy. It's gross. You okay. Know? Don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over Ugh. here looking for Ryan's apartment. You gave me the address because you weren't out there. And so 2 a.m. comes, you pull up. I'm not standing out there you're by not the entrance. Out there. It's 2 a.m. First red flag. I am looking and there's no Ryan. So I start calling you. Cool. And no then, answer. And I don't get an answer. So, do you like join the show? You're My phone page. is twenty four seven on silent. That might need to change right yeah. now, but it's never. I'm, it's always on silent. So, dude, you join the show. You're on payroll, and <laughs> I'm over here like looking up your W two, trying to figure out where you live. Right? <laughs> What's this address? Two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, damn it, Ryan. Damn it, Ryan. But I actually, mean Uh-oh. it. I'm like, dude, we gotta get to the damn airport. So I'm searching for driving around a foreign apartment complex in the middle of the night with no idea where anything is. And of course, it's a freaking huge apartment complex. Right. This guy decides to put his noise canceling headphones on earplugs while he sleeps. I sleep with earplugs, man. I don't play. And he's and and dude, I don't know. I guess your alarm didn't go off. So I figure out where his apartment is. And dude, it's late. It's late at night, dude. I am not looking to try to make noise in your apartment (laughs) complex. But I'm like, I see there's a window open where your apartment should be. And I'm like, Ryan, (laughs) fire guy, Ryan. Ryan, and my and neighbors, I'm calling my you. neighbors keep their windows open too, so that you must have. Yeah, they're like, "What is going on?" I'm like knocking on your door. No, nope, you're not mm. answering the door because you have your headphones in. Comic fam, I was trying to get in touch with this guy <laughs> for like 40 minutes straight. Oh my god, and I'm just snoozing the whole. You probably heard me snoring through the window. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm yeah. gonna have to leave this guy here. He's gonna sleep through me picking him up. Like. What is going on? Fortunately, he, he got up. Fortunately, we ended up hustling. But, dude, you're like, oh, no. No, that's not how it went, dude. My I brother, mean, yeah, your you brother, woke my I'm brother up. To, I'm not trying not to get I'll, too far into I'll it. I'll dox him, man. You woke my brother up, and you were let into my room. From my perspective now, we will switch to Fire Guy Ryan's okay, perspective. Okay, Fire Guy Ryan in the house. Comment I down. am sleeping soundly. Oh, yeah. The soundest, Ryan's sleeping. Dude. Solidest sleep of my entire dude, life. You're sleeping. You got your, your blanket in your, in your hands on your side. Sucking my thumb, yep. right? Yeah, Beetle position. It. I had yep. my binky and my bottle and all that stuff. Like and your always. headphones or, you know, whatever right. you have in your ears. Earplugs, man. Yeah. I don't play. Yeah. I got to sleep. 30 Q-tips. 30 for some reason. Q-tips. I don't have earplugs. Yeah, I just mash a bunch of random <laughs> things in there until it blocks out the sound. There it is. Anyway, I'm snoring the sleep of the dead. 2 a.m. Suddenly, I, I wake up, just, ugh, you know, something happened. I mm-hmm. look over in my doorway. There are two shadowy figures going, Brian. Wake up, Ryan. And I'm scared. I'm like, and I'm oh, getting shit. irritated more as I'm yelling at you. Right. I'm realizing there was no hope. <laughs> there was no hope had, shout out Zachary, had not yeah. opened that door. If and, you hadn't woken him up. Yeah. He heard from, his room's farther away from the door than mine. I um, couldn't Whatever. It. But anyway, I was like, I remember you were like, so, oh, okay, whatever. And you're like, get up. Yeah, we gotta like go <laughs> right, right now. now. Like, yeah, okay, I'll get up. <laughs> like, no, not now. Get up, we're going. Yeah, but we made the flight. Was, we made it. It was no problem. And uh, but but dude, it was like, dude, it's a solid 40 minutes or so of me trying to be loud quietly in your parking lot. Wow. Yeah. That part I missed. Yeah. You yeah. didn't miss it. You missed it completely. You didn't I, hear it at all. No. Yeah. You were, so you were now dreaming. when we went to C2E2, uh, Tom was like, <laughs> you're sleeping over. I had him over, comic fam. Yeah. I'm like, yo, dude, you're just going to crash we're in not, my place. We're not doing this again. I'm not doing that again. So he came over and crashed. I was like, crashed. I'll set an alarm. I'll get up this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're, you're coming over here. So, Oh, my gosh. Thankfully, yo. this one is uh, a local con. So hopefully, you know, I'll just drive there. I'll meet you there. However oh, that works. Yo, snap. We got Doug Bratton in the chat. Oh, hey. Big shout out to Doug Bratton. 
This is the gentleman who co-wrote Isolation with, with our homie Reggie freaking Collects. We love those guys over there. Reggie did his first comic book, Support Independent Comic Book Creations. And this month, actually, you only have a couple days left to secure the box on what not only because we're doing our last chance box you there. You missed the cutoff. Yeah, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. You missed the, the membership cutoff. If you join the membership, you will get an invincible um, number one next month when the boxes go out. But we are finishing assembling the mail call this week for August. And every box gets a Tuma Dracula 1 homage by Nate Made It. Because when it's dope, it's really likely that Nate Made It. Of isolation number one. Because when my homies make a comic, you support them. That's how we do it here. Doug Doug Bratton, you made a hell of a comic book. Well done. Book has hit 20 bucks. Let off the gas. Colin Fennel, unless you're a really gun for some Jack for the goodness. $75 cover price on this. Don't overbid. But if somebody wants it, we got it. 